Yeah, Dave, we're digging a little bit deeper into the forecasting here uh, and the data behind how we, we learn about these things and, and how we forecast deep into the season. So forecasting a La Nina, as you know, Dave, is complicated. Generally speaking, La Nina means cooler waters and less rain. But of course, it's not that simple. This year's La Nina is expected to be a weak one. But as history shows us, that could mean anything. Take a look at these images from the Golden Gate Weather Service when we had back to back weak La Ninas in 2016 and 2017. 2016, those equatorial water temperatures this time of year were 0.7 degrees below normal. And that's really the coldest it got. So we ended up with a wet year anyway, with rainfall totals 10 inches above normal. But the following year, we were just 1.1 degree below normal at this point. With warmer water, you might expect more rain, right? Instead, we dropped a full degree below average by January, ended up with below average rainfall. Now this year, we're splitting the difference. 0.5 degrees below average now forecasted to drop to 0.8. Notice though, our cooler water plume here does look very similar to that drier year. And we do have cooler water north of the equator too. So what does that mean? It means wait and see. We really don't know. It could go either way. Now, as for atmospheric rivers, we've been hearing a lot about that, right? Well, that is complicated too. The Scripps Institute of Oceanography recently created a scale for atmospheric rivers similar to a hurricane scale. A category one atmospheric river, which is what we saw yesterday, is what we would historically call a cold front. It's beneficial rain. Today's rain, though, that's a category two, mostly beneficial but could be hazardous, especially in those burn scarred regions. This weekend's atmospheric river, that's forecast to be a category five along the coast, category four in the foothills, basically prolonged heavy rain, and it really could be hazardous. So the moral of this weather story is prepare for problems Sunday into Monday, but long term, really it's anybody's guess. So let's add one more fly to this murky yeah. ointment fire season. Does it mean fire season's over? That's a really good question. And the short answer is, once again, it's complicated. Mm -hmm. There's really no definitive end to fire season. Uh, generally speaking, though, the rule of thumb is when you get one inch of rain. And that's actually the metric Cal Fire uses when they start their controlled burns. Okay. All right. All right, Julie, thanks for breaking it down for us. Yeah.